It's all right, Sarah. I've got everything under control. The water won't come any higher. Hi. I'm not too pleased with XP right now. He's supposed to be helping me, but he got involved in one of his own experiments instead. I suppose he'll be needing my help in a minute. But he can wait for a bit while I tell you how it all began. It was while we were doing a school project on weather, and I'd been lent something to take home. I know I had it here yesterday. <laughs> XP, hmm? Hmm? you do know where it is, do you? And they have to take it back today for our project on weather. On weather what? What do you mean on weather what? I mean, whether you're going to do your project or not. No, for my project on weather. That's just what I said, on weather what? The weather, Space Brain, a project on the weather. Oh, I see. <laughs> yes, and I had some seaweed. Someone had brought it back from their holiday, and it was my job to test whether it helped you tell what the weather was going to be like. And now I've lost it. Oh. You know something about this, don't you? Who? <laughs> me? Yes, you. There is only one XP. Oh, all right. I ate it. You ate it? Yes. I thought it was part of the shopping and my smart specs that it was used in cooking. So I ate it. Used in cooking? Yes, in Japan. Yeah, but that's probably special seaweed, not just the usual stuff you find lying around. Oh, great. They're not going to believe me at school. Please, Miss Watson, an alien ate my seaweed. Now what am I supposed to do? Well, get some more. Thank you, Mr Brilliant Brain. I'd have never thought of that one. The question is how? Well, go to the sea. Go to the seaside. Yeah, we could go for the day. Yeah. No, I can't. I can't afford it. It'll be my treat, Sarah. After all, it was my fault. Yes! Yeah. We could go on Saturday. Pack your suntan lotion, XP. It's holiday time. <laughs> What's that woman doing? Um, digging for worms. In the sea? <gasps> Don't be silly, Sarah. Digging for worms, indeed. Activate smart specs. Audio on. Scan to explain. Scanning. This is Jill. She is digging for worms. Yes, XP. What is that woman doing over there? Oh, all right. She's digging for worms. I know. Why don't we do some digging? Yeah, that could be fun. What are we going to dig for, though? To see what there is. Uh, we can do an investigation. Yeah, all right, then. I could start looking for my seaweed. Right, and I'll find out why she's digging for worms. Uh, shall we start now? Well, you can. I mean, I've got to eat my food. Oh, right. Uh, well, I'll take mine with me. <laughs> Hello. Uh, my name's XP and I'm from another planet. Well, what are you doing? Hello. XP I'm found here. out that Jill was a scientist who studied the seashore. She was investigating wildlife that lived in the sand. She could only do this while the tide wasn't covering it. Well, we found some worms. Um, there's also shells that live there. And we've got some lugworms that actually live in the sand. And you can only get them once the water's got out? Yes. And this whole area gets, uh, gets covered in uh, water, does it? Yes. At the moment, it's out, so I can come down on the beach and, and have a dig. That's what I'm going to investigate. Thanks very much, Jill. I went to see what XP was up to and met Jill. XP said he was going to investigate the tide coming in. Bye. Jill said I could join the children she was leading on a seashore safari. <laughs> XP found a rope ladder on the beach and thought he'd watch to see how much of it got covered by the tide. Express minus three, two, one. Activate smart specs. Scan. 
Do experiment. Topic, the tide. Activated. Observing the tide. Suggest access telescanoscope for more help. No, I... I can't find it. Telescanoscope is shrunk to micro size. Suggest you look in your top pocket. Oh, of course. Ah, it is. Activate telescanoscope. Link to smart specs. Commence telescanoscope flight path. Minus three, two, one. Telescanoscope is now in position. It is showing the view from the main beach out to sea. The edge of the sea is 350 meters away and coming closer. The rope ladder where you are is still on dry land. The sea has not reached it yet. So, while XP started to watch the tide, I went with Jill to see what we could find in the rock pools. Hello. Right, what have we found in the rock pool then? We found that thing over there. Does anybody know what that is then? Yeah, it's an anemone. It's an anemone. And does anybody know anything about anemones? It's an animal. It's an animal, that's right. And we've got lots of anemones all along this shoreline. And the ones that aren't in the water, they actually look like blobs of jelly. But this one's actually out feeding. And at the end of its tentacles, it's got little hooks. And anything that's floating too close, or a fish that gets too close, will actually be eaten by the anemone. Sarah, what were you interested in? Well, I was looking there was seaweed in the pools too, but not the kind that I was looking for. There are also little creatures in the pools with shells on. Um, these very pointed ones are called limpets. When the tide is in, they actually eat all the algae on the rocks. We've also got some small little periwinkles, and they live off the algae that's growing on the rocks as well, and they also live off some of the seaweed. And on the inside, Jill explained that the things living in the pools were suited to live in a habitat that changed every time the tide went in and out. But life in a rock pool is actually quite tough. This water's been standing here all day when the tide went out, and if the sun was shining, it would actually get very, very hot in there. We've got rain coming down, so what was quite salty water to start with is actually being diluted, if you like, with fresh rainwater. The water level can also get quite low, and the animals that live in these rock pools have to be able to cope with all these different situations that can happen over a period of just a few hours. Right, shall we go and see the others in the rock pool and see what they've got? OK. <laughs> Smart specs, scan for progress report. Scanning, replaying. When you first looked, the tide had not reached the rope ladder. End of replay. It is now much nearer. Accessing view from telescanoscope. Replaying. When you first looked, the edge of the sea was here. End of replay. It is now only 200 metres away and getting nearer. Telescanoscope about to move to new position. Right, let's see what you found over here, OK? Ooh, yes, let's have a look, what have you got? The other group of children had found some crabs. There was a porcelain crab with a hairy back and a white underneath. And it's quite fragile. And this is the most... And a green crab. It was called the shore crab because it lived on the seashore. Then there was the hermit crab that moved house to a bigger shell as it grew larger. What he'll do is actually hunt around um, for another shell. They'd also found a big prawn and a small fish called a goby. And these fish can adapt very, very well and they can actually live out of water for quite a few hours without dying. Next, Jill said she'd take us on a walk to see what there was growing on the cliff top. Meanwhile, 
XP was still keeping his smart spec eye on the tide coming in. The telescanoscope has landed. It shows that the sea has now reached the edge of the main beach and is still coming in. Replaying, when you last looked, the tide was at the bottom of the rope ladder. End of replay. Now, most of the ladder is underwater. If you were still standing there, the water would be right over your head. If you could fly, the clifftop was only 100 metres straight up from the rock pools. But the path you walked to get there was much longer. Can we have everybody sitting on the mat? It was a completely different habitat, and different things were suited to live there. The tide didn't reach it, but the wind certainly did, and in midsummer it got really hot. Jill said that a good way to tell this was by looking at the plants that grew there. Some of them kept extra water stored in thick, fleshy leaves. Others had thin, narrow leaves to stop the sun drying them out too quickly. When we were on the rocky shore, it was the tide coming in and the tide going out that sort of dictated the lifestyle of, of lots of the animals down there. But up here, we obviously don't have a tide, and what happens is it's the daylight and the nightlight that makes things move around, if you like. Would you like to stand up and follow me? When Jill had finished explaining about the clifftop, she was going to take everyone exploring, but I had to go. I thought it was time I checked on what XP was up to. Meet somebody. Oh, right. So, OK, well, it's a shame you can't stay with us. Yeah. But thanks for coming along. Yeah, thanks for having me. OK. All right, then. Bye. 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 See you soon. See ya. Smart Specs. Access. Summary. Acknowledged. Preparing information. Telescanoscope returning to the main beach. Where you are, the tide has come in all the way up to the top of the rope ladder. The water here is now five metres deep. During the afternoon, the sea has come 350 metres up the beach. Today, the tide will not come any higher. It will now turn and go out again. End of summary. I wonder what happens to it at night. What are you doing, doing here? here? <laughs> I'm measuring the wind speed. <clears throat> Activate smart specs. Scan to confirm. The wind is blowing a light breeze. It is blowing from the sea onto the land. Hmm. And have you found any seaweed? Seaweed? You've forgotten, haven't you? We're supposed to be finding me some seaweed to replace the bit you ate. Oh, yes. Oh, well, I'll look tonight, when everyone's gone home. Tonight? Yes, I've got to stay here and measure the tide. You know, see whether it goes to sleep or something. Well, I think I could guess the answer to that one. Oh, that isn't good enough, Sarah. I have to record proper evidence. <sighs> oh, some seaweed hunting trip this turned out to be. I suppose I'd better leave you to it, then. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, please, would you keep an eye open for that seaweed? Otherwise, I'll set Miss Watson on you. Who? My teacher. Oh, 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 oh yes, I, <laughs> I really will. Oh, uh, yes, uh, disconnecting. Yeah, disconnecting. Express minus three, two, one. After XP had gone, I went back to Jill, and one of the other children's mums said she'd drive me home in her car. I hoped XP would be all right, but I needn't have worried. 
someone had let him stay on their boat. This is your experimenting alarm call. Time to wake up. Have a nice experiment. The tide has reached here. Activate smart specs. Scan to report. Activated. Reporting. Since you last looked, the tide has gone out and come in once more. The wind has changed direction. Scan to confirm. The wind is still blowing a light breeze, but now it is blowing from the land onto the sea. Next day, he was ready for his last set of measurements. It was nearly 24 hours since he'd started, and already the tide had come in twice and gone out again twice. I predict the tide will come no higher than this. There was only one thing wrong. He hadn't read the high tide notice. You've got a problem there, XP? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I need a hand to rescue my scout steward things. Wasn't expecting this. Well, how come? Well, I was measuring the tide going in and coming out, and I found out that the tide goes in and out during the night as well as during the day. Yeah learned all about how plants and animals can deal with changes like the tide coming in and out, the night turning into day. I'm going to see if I can spot any changes when we get back home. Good idea. And what I don't understand is that yesterday at high tide all my stuff was safe here. So if this bit of the beach wasn't covered by the high tide yesterday... Why is it today? We're supposed to read the sign, XP. So the tides come in at different heights on different days. Today is a really high tide. I shall have to do some more investigating. But first, I need to get dry. Uh, will you give me a hand to get out? Well, that depends. Depends on what? On if you found any seaweed. Oh, no! You got again, didn't you? I was going to leave this. Well... Oh, I give up. Come on, then, let's get you dry. I suppose we're going to have to find some seaweed of my own somehow. <laughs> I think you just did!